for example suppose a linked list is there so suppose this is a linked list right and you have deletion in a linked list so if you don't know the concept of how a node is being deleted how the connection is being built and how the connection is being broken if you don't know that then you're going to have a hard time solving the problem the placement season is coming up and if you want to crack the top companies then this should be a major part of your preparation which is data structures and algorithm so we all know dsa is important but still students get confused about how to learn dsa where to learn dsa so i'm making this video about how to master dsa for placements so this will be the only video that you need you can just watch this video and start your preparation you don't need 100 different sources just watch this video follow the steps and start your preparation and i've broken everything down in just three simple steps so in three simple steps your preparation is done for you can follow these steps and prepare and have the best shot at clearing your placement so let's get started so the first step is organize now this is a mistake that a majority of students make while learning dsa is that they just go on lead code and they start solving random problems so if you're just learning dsa if you're starting out on dsa then that's a very bad approach you should learn it in an organized manner instead of just random solving so what i mean by that is get a list of data structures and algorithm in an organized way so what i mean by that is in, in an ascending order of difficulty so there is a sequence of learning dsa for example if you don't know recursion you cannot solve tree problems if you don't know backtracking you cannot go and solve dynamic programming problems so there is a sequence that you have to follow while learning dsa so i want you to make a list of dsa in that sequence according to the ascending order for example you can start with array strings then linked list stack queue etc and at the end you can have graphs dynamic programming and trees so make a list like that you can also get the list from geeks or geeks they have a list of dsa in a sequential order order that you need to learn apart from that i'll also put a list in my description okay so the first thing is get the list of dsa now once you have the list organized then the next thing that you need to do is practice how you practice is again very important and a lot of people make mistake while practicing so this is how you have to do it first so one by one get each data structure or each algorithm from the list for example you can start with arrays you can pick array from the list or suppose you're on linked list so pick linked list from the list and then this is what you're going to do for each item from this list first you're going to learn the theory now this is something that a lot of people avoid and you have to give this a little bit of importance which is learning the theory because what happens a lot of times is that the students don't focus on the theory and in the end they get confused in the concepts so if you don't know the basic concepts of the data structure then you will not be able to solve the problems hey guys before we start the rest of the video i have an amazing opportunity for you guys so let me tell you about prep leaf i mentioned this in my previous video also so they have a course career accelerator program in web development which is a very much in-depth course that runs for 12 months where they teach you everything that you need to know in order to become a master of full stack development they teach you everything right from the basics all the way to advanced and they even teach you data structures and algorithm which is very very important for cracking the top companies like i'm mentioning in this video so they cover everything that you need to in order to crack your dream company the whole course runs for 12 months it's a very much in depth course and in the middle of the course you will also get internship opportunities where you can build projects and earn money and at the end of the course you'll have placement assistance where you'll be able to get to your dream company with the help of their placement assistance program and all of this you get for a small fee of 65000 if you compare it to other courses there'll be lakhs of rupees but this is just 65000 rupees and if you use the link in the description you will also get 2000 discount on the registration fees so you can take this course they also have a free trial for 15 days so you can click the link in the description and book your seat as the next course will start on august 7 2023 so go click the link in the description and book your free trial now for example suppose a linked list is there so suppose this is a linked list right and you have deletion in a linked list so if you don't know the concept of how a node is being deleted how the connection is being built and how the connection is being broken if you don't know that then you're going to have a hard time solving the problem so you need to know everything concept wise so spend a little bit of time on theory as well a lot of people avoid theory and you don't need to spend too much time but briefly you need to focus on theory part as well so that you're good with the concepts and for that you have some great youtube channels 
you have Abdul Bari, who is my personal favorite. Apart from that, you have Tushar Roy, and you can just Google or search on YouTube, and you'll find a lot of people making videos about concepts of DSA. So you need to be clear with the theory part. Don't spend too much time here, but give it a brief amount of time. Once you're clear with the theory, then you need to implement the same in code. So for example, suppose if you have learned C++ or you've learned Java, and this is what I'll actually suggest to you, go with either C++ or Java, even in this I will suggest go with C++. So suppose Linglist, suppose you've learned Linglist theory wise, now you need to implement the working of Linglist in code. Or suppose you've learned Dijkstra's algorithm, you've learned everything in theory, ki this is how it happens. Now you need to implement this via code, okay? So whatever data structure, whatever algorithm you've learned, first you've learned the theory, now you're going to implement it in code. If you're implementing for the first time, you might face some issues. So you can take help from Geeks for Geeks. GFG has the implementation of every data structure, every algorithm in both C++, Java and Python also. But stick to C++ or Java. Now, once the theory is done, once the implementation is done, then we have the most important part, which is solving problems. This is the most important thing. Like, even if you know the complete theory, even if you know the complete implementation, it is all a waste if you're not able to solve the problems. So this is very important. So how will you solve the problem? What websites you need to use? So you can only use two websites. There's just two websites that you need to use, which are lead code and geeks for geeks. Even in this, you just need lead code only if I'm being honest, but you can also solve problems from geeks for geeks. Now again, how do you solve the problems? Go in difficulty. First solve easy problems, then solve medium problems, then solve hard problems. How many problems people ask? So the bare minimum is solve five to six easy problem, four to five medium problem, and three to four hard problem. This is like the bare minimum that you have to do. I would suggest solve as many problems as you can to have the best chance, but this is the bare minimum you have to do. So if you're on Linglist, then go on lead code, search Linglist problems, solve all the easy ones, solve all the medium ones, and solve all the hard ones. This is how you can solve the problems. Now, <coughs> one bonus tip for you guys is if you're stuck on a problem, then don't spend too much time on it. If you have given it 30, 45 minutes and you're still not able to find something, then don't spend more time on it. You can go to the discuss section and try to see someone else's approach and then try to quote that approach or you can modify your approach. But don't get stuck on one problem, okay? For 30, 45 minutes, you cannot, you know, move the problem, go to the discuss problem and try to take some hints. First take the hints and if you're not understanding from the hint, then look at the solution. Don't go directly to the solution and don't get, don't spend too much time on a single problem. So this is the bare minimum that you need to do. The more you solve, the better. Okay, initially at least, the more you solve, the more confident you will be. Now, after you've done this, for every data structure, for every algorithm, you've learned the theory correctly, you know the implementation, and you've solved a lot of problems. Now you feel confident a little bit. Now you feel comfortable solving problems. Now what do you need? Now you need to test your knowledge. So this is the third step of testing your knowledge. How can you test your knowledge? You can solve problems that you haven't seen before. For that, you can give contests. So lead code has contests. You can try to give contests on lead code and try to solve the first two to three problems in lead code contest. Now, apart from that, if you have time, you can also go on code forces and code shift and solve problems from there. And this is optional because a lot of times computer programming is not needed. But still, if you do solve problems from these websites, it will make you a better problem solver. So if you have time, I would highly suggest solve problems on code forces, and you can even solve problems from code share. If you have time, this is optional. Now, after that, you have to solve company-wise problems. This is again very important. Let me put a star here. So if you're preparing for Amazon, search Amazon problems on Geeks for Geeks. You can find this on Geeks for Geeks or Lead Code Premium but I would suggest Geeks for Geeks. So go on uh, Geeks for Geeks, search for Amazon problem, search for Flipkart problem, search for Google problem, Intuit problem. All the good companies that are out there solve their archive of problems from Geeks for Geeks. Apart from that, if you have time, you can solve randomly from DSA sheets. So only now is the time that you can do random solving after you've done all of this. And again, this is optional, 
because DSA sheet is not that important. It is just a collection of problems. Most of them you would have already solved before. But if you have time, you can do random solving here from DSA sheet. Now, after you've done all of this and you feel confident, ki, okay, now I can go to the company's interview. And suppose you're appearing for someone, some company's interview. Suppose you're appearing for Intuit's interview and the interview is in the next two days. What do you do now? So this is what you have to do. This is very important. Go through the interview experience of that company. And why this is important? Because a lot of companies have different patterns, right? Some company might ask simple DSA, like array, stack, queue. Some company might ask graph. Some company might always ask dynamic programming. So you need to know what is expected of you in the interview or the level of the interview that you will be facing. So according to that, find the topics which are important and solve more problems on that so that you're fully prepared. So whatever topic you feel is important for the interview, whether it's dynamic programming, whether it's graph, whether it's uh, trees, whatever it is, solve more problems on them and you'll have more confidence. So that's pretty much it. You don't need an advanced roadmap. You don't need anything complex. If you just do all of this, right, then you'll have the best shot at clearing your placements. So just do these steps, solve a lot of problems. This is the step where you cannot lack. This is the most important step. Solve as many problems as you can. Work hard, put in the work, put in the dedication. You'll master DSA and you'll have the best shot at clearing your placements. So that's all. Thank you.